Hey there, studio owner. You've put your blood, sweat, and tears into creating a brick and mortar business that serves your clients and impacts the community you love. You are my hero. And I'm pretty sure we could sit down and talk like besties do because I get it. I've had my studio business for over 12 years, a handful of kids, and a few passion projects that I love. Like this one. Hey there, I'm Melissa Rose, your visibility coach for the studio owner who wants more stellar clients coming through their doors, more bank in their bank account, and more time to hang out and be completely present with those they love most. In this podcast, we're going to share the nitty gritty of running a successful studio business, sharing stories, talking strategy, and learning practical tips that leave you inspired, empowered, and equipped to create your epic life every single day. So if you're a dance studio, yoga studio, Pilates studio, or a fitness boutique studio, you are in the right place. Add some kiddos into the mix and maybe a life partner. And I call you a rebel woman. Ready to dive in? Let's get real. Hello, my rebel women. How are you? Super good to be here because today we are wrapping up the series, How to Dominate Your SEO through your Google business profile. And today is the eighth step, the eighth and final step, and really the icing on the cake. It really comes to this step and doing it consistently, which is the key word, to dominate your SEO. And we have gone through seven steps. If you are new today, go back and listen. They're linked in the show notes, or better yet, go ahead and just grab the video. It's a free video and people love it. They're getting so much value out of it because I break it down. I show you exactly what you need to do, how to do it so that you can show up faster and liked and trusted faster as well. Okay. So I want you to be found, liked and trusted faster. There we go. There's the tagline. (laughs) And um, let's be real. People are not necessarily going to Instagram to find you. They're not going to Facebook to find you. They are searching you by Googling you. And if your profiles come up, awesome, but chances are it's going to be your Google profile that's showing up, okay, Um, if you have one, okay? And if you don't have one, maybe your Instagram or Facebook profile comes up, okay? So we really need to... Uh, be there because when people are looking for you, they're Googling you. They're Googling dance lessons. They're Googling um, Pilates studio. They're Googling physical therapist near me. They're Googling your service. So let's make it so easy for them. And you guys, this is legit. People are lazy. People are, I don't know, maybe lazy is the wrong word, right? We're, We're just time. We are pulled in so many directions and we are expected to do more with less. Like I just laugh and not laugh at how much we do. For example, I am choreographing a show right now. For those of you that don't know, welcome. I'm Ms. Melissa Rose. I am a studio owner in Hudson, Wisconsin. We specialize in beginner students of all ages, and we are the highest rated, top rated studio in the Twin Cities area because of Google SEO. So I am a dance teacher, choreographer, performer, and I get a kick out of this SEO stuff. And I really love helping business owners do this. So one of my passion projects, because we all have them, right, is choreographing shows, musicals. And I'm choreographing a musical right now. And I'm going to with what we do with the limited amount of time. So when you have this limited amount of time of staging a show, back in the day, you didn't have cameras and phones. Like back, I'm old enough where we had to write it down and hope to God we remembered what the hell we our notes meant and our staging meant, okay? And we had eight weeks of rehearsal, okay? Now I am doing a show. We're doing something rotten. So for those of you that know the show, you know you know how much it's so much fun, so much freaking fun. It's such a great show. But there's literally about 45 minutes of choreography in the show. Like it's a huge dance show and not just a dance show. We got some tapping in there, okay? And, and this is a community theater event. So working with the beautiful community of the St. Croix Valley and the Twin Cities area, you don't get a lot of dancers, okay? So you have to be creative. And I am freaking blown away at what we have accomplished and what we have done. But you know what? We have so many more resources. Every practice now, we are recording after and putting it up in a Google Drive so that people can practice. And there's really no excuse for them not to learn the material because it's given to them. So here's the deal. Here's what I'm saying. People are used to everything being 
given to them and we have to give it to them and make it super easy for them to succeed. Okay. So if you want your client, your perfect client walking in the door to succeed by getting your services and and thriving in life, we need to make it so freaking easy for them. Okay. And one of the ways to do that is make sure your Google business profile is up to date and done really, really well. Okay. You can't just claim it. You have to maximize it, optimize it, do all the things to it so that you stand out and people go, oh, okay, now I'll click here, okay? And it's not just Google reviews, y'all. It's not that. We talked about that in our early episode. So before I dive in, I want to give a shout out to Blushing Brood. (laughs) She left a review on Apple iTunes. And thank you so much because I know who this is because I worked with her. Such a great show. Melissa is inspiring and engaging. She shares so much practical information. I worked with her for our 30-day jumpstart of my Google page and loved the knowledge and fresh perspective she brought. She also wrote a fantastic blog post for my interior design business. Okay, so thank you, Lindy, uh, from Lindy Design. She's an interior designer here in the Twin Cities. Nothing related to my market, right? However, SEO is SEO. And I can help you if you are that business owner who's like, oh my gosh, I can't do this, Melissa, what? Especially after you listen to this episode, you might be going, ah, no. What you do then is you go to mismelissarose.com forward slash deals and click the work with me tab or you hire me and see what I can do for you. I would love to help you. I seriously get a kick out of this. I, I geek out on it. Okay. So I will um, help you. I will help you get found and liked and trusted faster. And that's what I did for Lindy. So thank you, Lindy, for leaving that very, very kind review. I appreciate that. All right. So let's dive in. Let's dive in. So here we go. Number eight, you need to update your website consistently. Okay. Now, some people will say, well, let's just make it content. Just update your website with content. Yes, you can do that. Totally, totally can do that. However, Sometimes that content might be your hours. You changed your hours. Sometimes that content might be, um, I'm just thinking what's on our website. Maybe you, uh, for me, we offer private lessons. Okay, we change that. That's not really going to help your SEO enough. The best way to help your SEO consistently is creating a blog. And everybody looks at me and go, oh my gosh, a blog? Who the hell reads blogs? Did we go back to the 90s? Okay, here's the deal. Google reads blogs, all right? And here's the deal. It does not need to be 3,000 words. It does not need to be this long, drawn-out thing. What it needs to be is keywords plugged in consistently on your website, all right? I highly recommend at least one new blog post a month, if not two, and if you can do four, amazing. But it's not needed to do four. We do two in our studio. And the reason we have done two is because back in the day when I was diving into growing my business, I didn't have my kids every other weekend. So that's when the blog got written, y'all. Okay. And I now have gotten it to where this is passed off. I don't, I only write one blog a month. And mine is very specific to keywords. And then my assistant, Karen, does the other blog, which is very consistent with what's happening in the studio. So I invite y'all to come on over to my website, The Dancing House. Make sure you have the the, thedancinghouse.com and click the latest news and just look at mine to see how simple this can be. Okay. It does not need to be hard. So I am going to give you a framework to make this easy for you. Okay. So I highly recommend that you have just three to four points that you want to get across that consistently tie in those keywords that you are doing. So for my blog, what I do is I have a, a like a welcome. Hi, how you doing? Then we talk about what we just did. Then we talk about what we're doing now, and then we're talking about what's in the future. That's it. Okay. So how can I tie in those keywords? All right. So we want to talk about, for example, in 
my business, we're going to talk about dance studios and being the top rated studio in the Twin Cities area and St. Croix Valley, like location, location. So when people are typing words for dance studios in Hudson or dance studios in Twin Cities, I come up. Okay. So I'm going to say a welcome, like, Hey, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. And just, just, I literally, it's kind of like what we do here in the podcast. Talk about the weather, talk about what's going on. Like it's spring here in Hudson, Wisconsin. The weather is amazing. And we're out on the St. Croix river, you know, stuff like that. And then we just got done with our six week session and we just celebrated our recital at the location. Um, It was so great watching our hip hop dancers and our tap dancers and our adult dancers. Keywords, those are all keywords, okay? And we're super looking forward to summer and our summer passes where you can take unlimited dance classes. We start dance classes at age blah, blah, blah to blah, blah, blah and talking a little bit about that. And uh, we look forward to seeing you and then we can talk a little bit more about other things that we're doing. Maybe an event, maybe a yearly event that we do that makes sense. That's coming up. Our summer camps get started on this date and just talking about it. So it's just targeting more your keywords. So you need to identify those keywords that people are looking for. Now in your Google dashboard, y'all, you can look for that. So if you go to your Google dashboard and uh, look up performance, you'll be able to look in there and see what people are typing. Okay. That helps. It helps. It's it's not totally, you know, bulletproof, but it helps what people are finding you with. So you want to make sure you use those, but then you also want to help people by giving them the other things they might be looking for. You know, we have kiddos classes, okay. And trying those different terms or toddler classes, um, baby classes, you know, Uh, adult classes, adult hip hop, adult tap classes, adult ballet classes, using all those keywords, not just adult dance classes. Okay. So you don't need to get all these keywords in one blog post. You can just be consistent and sprinkle them in every time and it will help you. Okay. So this is why doing a blog. So now I'm going to go into the second part of doing a blog. So you're doing it. And what really helps you guys, this is not just, oh my gosh, another task. No, we're going to take that blog post, you guys. And this is what happens. You're going to tear that blog post apart. And now you have four pieces of content that you can then strip down even more to create social media posts for the weeks. Okay, so I gave you four, four, four bullet points, you know, like the welcome, past, present, future. Okay, my social media person looks at our blog and that is how she creates our, her social media. Okay, that's how she breaks down our social media. So it's in bite size pieces. So again, if you go to thedancinghouse.com, you look at our blog and then you go look at our Instagram or Facebook, you're going to see, oh, I get it. This is how it's done, okay? And it's all working together, all right? Because as I said, we want people to find us and they're finding us by Googling it. Okay, now, so we have the blog post. We broke it down for different social media, for our social media. But remember, that same content that you broke down for social media, you're gonna upload it onto your Google business page as an update, Remember how we did that, okay? So remember when I talked about duplicating, we're going to do that, okay? So your blog post technically should help create the social media for you, okay? A lot of people are like, I just don't even know what to talk about on social media. I don't know what to post. I get frozen, blah, blah, blah. This is supposed to help you. It's going to help you make it easier, okay? So I don't want you working your social media first. I want you thinking about your blog first because that's where people are finding you through SEO and then taking and creating social media out of it. Okay. Now, all of this blog, Google business profile has to be wrapped up with a bow. And the bow is the beautiful word consistency. Okay. So a blog once a year is not going to help you. All right. You have to be consistent with it. I highly recommend once a month. Okay. Another tip I forgot to mention y'all think of your blog post as a newsletter. All right. If you write a newsletter for your, for your people, 
that can be your blog post. All right. It's a lot of the same type of thing. Okay. So that's what we do with ours. Um, we, it's not necessarily a newsletter. We, we do a short email and then we, um, we link the blog post and then people click on that blog post. And the reason for that as well is it just helps, um, the people, okay, so this is if you do ads and things like that, it's bringing people into your website. And when you retarget and do all that for ads, that's where that's coming from. Okay. So there's another reason for the madness. All right. So I take my link to my website, put it in my email, and it's just a short email. Hey, this is the latest. Uh, We have really fun things coming up. Click here to learn more. And most people do. And I can see that with the back end of our software, seeing how many people come to that blog post. Okay, so that's just another reason for getting more people to come onto that website for traffic, for retargeting. So we need to be consistent. We need to um, use this free platform, Google Business Profile, completely free for us, okay? And we get to optimize it if we choose. And like I said, a lot of the things that I taught you earlier on in this uh, series are one and done. You really just do the work and then it's done. But then we have some other things here on the end of it, blog being one of them, that needs to be done consistently. So I'm here to help you. If you want more consistency in your blog writing or getting your SEO up, I'm here to help you. Go to MsMelissaRose.com forward slash deals and click the Hire Me tab and you'll see everything I offer there. All right, you all, this wraps up our series of Google Business Profile Dominating Your SEO. These episodes have taken off and I want to thank you for listening. If you know of another business owner who could get value out of this, please, please share this episode with them. That means the world to me and it will mean the world to them. There's nothing nicer than when somebody sends you something and, and you just leave the little note, I thought of you. Oh my gosh, I love that when people do that for me. I was thinking of you. Here you go. Um, If you haven't left a rating and review, please, please do that. I would love to shout you out on the podcast. And um, if you uh, screenshot this and share it out to your network, tag the Melissa Rose on Instagram and I will shout you out through my stories. It'd be fun to see you. All right, you guys. Appreciate you so much. We'll be back here next week with a stellar episode. I'm super psyched for you guys to hear it. All right. Take care. Have a great week. Peace. Bye-bye.